What's up, people? This is Stealth Ranger 77 here, and in the background, you're going to be seeing some Iron Banner gameplay, and that's what I'm here to talk about today, guys, is um, some issues and improvements that I have on the possibility of Iron Banner. If you weren't here the last week, what happened from today to the previous Tuesday is the event called the Iron Banner, where basically your damage and defense of your items do count in the effect of multiplayer. It's basically crucible with those added elements into the game. And so I'm just going to be explaining behind this Iron Banner gameplay. I'm going to be explaining some issues and some improvements that I have on what's going on and things that are happening in the Iron Banner and how Bungie's been running it. So how I'm going to start off is I'm going to start off with my problems with the situation of the Iron Banner. And the first thing that I'd like to talk about is the reward system. Talking about the amount of points you get towards your Iron Banner rank for winning and for losing. As of right now, you get 25 for winning a match in Iron Banner, and you get nothing for losing. So what happens is when you have a team of four guys, and there's some other guys in the other team that are just randomly put together, they see that they're getting spanked 1,500, 15 grand to like 3,000 in control. They're going to leave, right? So then you have no enemies and it just drags out and it's just longer for the team that's put in the effort. So what they need to do in order to prevent from players leaving, I think they need to do two things. People have talked about, that I've seen, is rewarding the losing team. At least some reward. It needs, I would say, 10 to 15 points. I would say it would be an optimal reward for the losing team. It shouldn't be too much so that it affects their rank if you lose. So it still gives you some incentive to win. And therefore, I think the winning team should receive... 30 to at least 40 points. I think even 40 points would be a good idea for winning a match. It provides more incentive to be really competitive and more for those higher level players. And I think they also need to envelop um, a system where if you do leave a game a certain amount of times or uh, to a certain extent that there is some penalty that you're not allowed to compete in the Iron Banner or Crucible. There's something that happens, okay, so that it double prevents players from wanting to leave. So then we aren't a curb that issue because I, it's a major pain in the ass when I've been playing in this event. So that's just something I want to talk about first. Next, I would like to talk about the damage relative defense and attack. As of right now, if you have played the Iron Banner, you've noticed that it really doesn't feel all that different. You might feel a little bit different in a gun called the Vex Mythal class, which is easily the most overpowered weapon, but they are taking care of that right now. But defense and attack really hasn't mattered much in the Iron Banner so far. So I think they need to... It's supposed to get... The thing about it is that Iron Banner is supposed to be unfair. It's for the higher level players that have put in so much time to get to those higher light level ranks, level 30, that's what it's all for. It's so that those layer, lower level players, like if they're level 4, level 6, they come in, they should be getting their ass kicked. That's how it should work. Because you're at the Iron Banner, because you've put in time, you've put in the money, just so that you can get out there and kick some ass. And if a level 4, level 6 is killing you with a, le with a damage 45 weapon, that's just not fair. That shouldn't be happening. Uh, now I'm not saying that they shouldn't have a chance. I'm saying that there should still be there should still be a factor that allows that defense and attack to have a bigger impact than it does right now. So that the lower player lower level players have incentive included to get higher rank stuff. I don't think it's going to have a negative effect on the lower players, that's what I'm saying. And the last thing that I would like to talk about for my problems with Iron Banner so far is the loot system. What I'm saying is if you've played once again, if you've played I know I've come in top of the leaderboard, getting six hundred thousand, uh, getting six thousand points for a game, five thousand, even seven thousand at times, and rocking like a four to, like a, a two to a five KD, and I don't get anything. And the guy in the bottom of the board gets a rare engram and another rare weapon. And I understand that there should be some randomness held within the Iron Banner and the loot system, because otherwise it defeats the purpose of what they're trying to do. But I'm saying that they should be rewarding the top-ranking players. I'm not saying that you need to give me legendary stuff every time. That's not what I'm complaining about. I'm just saying, if I'm kicking major ass and I get 40 kills in a control game, get at 6,000 points with 10 captures, I'm just saying that they should be giving me at least some engrams, something like that, even a shader. I'm fine with getting a shader. That's great. Just just provide me with more stuff that I can get. It doesn't have to be legendary, stuff like that. Maybe every once in a while, but I just want something that I can see to show that the game is rewarding me for placing in the top. It gives me more incentive to try harder and get better at the game.
Now, as for some improvements, things that I thought that they've been doing really well is the comp the competitive aspect of the game. I think a good idea would be something to involve the clans and things like that into Iron Banner, right? It's for the competitive people, and competitive people have their clans. So something like a clan battle with other clans. I mean, you see games in, like, in Call of Duty recently with Ghosts. Um, if you have played any of that game, you saw that they have become much more clan-enveloped in that game. So I think that's an aspect they should be pulling from their surroundings, seeing stuff like that, something like that, and just overall more content. What I'm talking about is just more stuff, and that leads me to my next point for the improvements. Is we just we need we need more things to be able to do. We need more maps, maybe even some specific only. Like why don't they bring Mercury back for Iron Banner? That should be available in Iron Banner. That would provide more incentive and more reason for guys to play Iron Banner. And I think Lord Saladin is the guy that you can go get your stuff from. Go rank up your class, get your emblems, get your shaders. I'm still working hard for that rank 3 shader. I want to see what that looks like. That thing looks freaking sweet. I want to see it. <laughs> but I think there should be more loot and things available from them. If anything, I think the rotation of things available and the amount of things available should be wider spread. Because I'm seeing the same couple things. I'm seeing like one weapon, one heavy weapon, an arm, and like a chest plate. I want some more stuff so that... I'm looking forward to really getting to that rank 3, because right now, that shader is the only thing that I'm pushing for. My guns are already better than those weapons. There should be some specific stuff only in the Iron Banner that you should be able to get. So that it, it's, it's for those higher level players and for the lower level players to look up to. It's not a negative thing. And so that's what I saw in the recent weekly update. Deej posted they're taking a lot of stuff into consideration. It's going well. So I see that they're making these improvements. These are just a couple of my thoughts on the topic. So I thought you guys wanted to hear it, and let me know if you have any other ideas. Tell me, because I'll, I'll talk to somebody. I'll start a post on the forum. If you want to do that yourself, feel free to. I think we just need to get our opinions out there so that Deej can hear us, because he checks out everything. So thanks so much, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed the gameplay in the background. Nothing crazy special, but I hope it was something fun to enjoy. Let me know if you have any other ideas and things that you want to talk about. I'm free. To, I'm free. Just <laughs> hit me up on YouTube. I'll talk with you anytime. Thanks for watching, and see you all later.